What's up guys, XM360 here, and in this video I have my very first ever white RGB laser module. It'll produce a white beam by combining red, green, and blue. This was sent to me by the nice people over at laserpointerstore.com for the purpose of making a video. Uh, so this module has three lasers built in, a red, a green, and a blue. Um, it's rated at 300 milliwatts. I've already taken the LPM testing on this. And these tests are without adjusting it via TTL or potentiometers, so there may be potential here to increase the brightness of these beams, but the testing I did, uh, the power of the beams you're going to see is 35 milliwatts for the green 532 nanometer. 450 nanometer has about 50 milliwatts of power, and the red 650 nanometer had about 144 milliwatts of power. So those are the power readings straight out of the box. This video today isn't really going to follow a review format. This is more of a brief testing just to show you how well the beam aligns, how that white beam looks, and give you some nice fog room shots of the different color combinations that you can make with this white laser module. So this first shot right here is in an indoor setting somewhat dim. Um, the white beam is slightly visible looking down the axis of the laser and the dot is very well aligned while it might look on camera like there's red and blue escaping all over the place in reality viewing it from the human eye what you're seeing is pretty much a uniform white dot at this distance you can't really pick out the individual colors in it and the same thing with the beam uh, looking at this uh, in this lighting level right now you can't really see any of the individual colors in the beam it really just looks like a uniform white beam Moving on to an outdoor setting, the beam is no longer visible and the dot, while it is still showing up white, when you move to greater distances like this rock wall a couple of hundred feet away, you can start to see the separation between the red, green, and the blue. Um, because while these are aligned to a very good level, at very long distances, the slightest imperfections are increased and you can see that there is slight misalignment at this very far distance. And even then, it's not that huge. All the beams are still pretty much right on top of one another. And then moving to a nighttime setting, we have some pretty good beam visibility here. You can view it looking down the axis of the laser and from a horizontal view. And the camera might pick up this beam as almost kind of like a light blue. Uh, but I assure you that's just a trick of the eye sort of viewing it from the human eye it appears pure white it doesn't appear this bluish color that the camera likes to make it look it's just one of those optical illusions caused by the camera and yeah very good beam visibility and a very nice bright white dot moving on to a fog room I'm gonna show you guys some fog room shots now and this kind of foggy setting shows more individual colors in the beam on the camera but when I'm viewing this with my human eye, it's still showing up to me just white. I'm not seeing this like red, white, and blue beam that you guys are seeing here on camera. I'm seeing pretty much just one uniform white beam. Um, maybe I can slightly, slightly pick out the red inside the beam, but it's not to the level that you guys are seeing in the video. The first color combination I wanted to show you guys is the red and the green which creates a yellow, but it's not like the 589 or 593 nanometer amber yellow that you guys might be used to seeing. This one is kind of like a mix between bright yellow and lime green. Um, it's a pretty cool color that I haven't seen in a laser before, and it aligns pretty well, so it looks pretty uniform. You don't see the red or the green too much. You mostly just see the yellow, and yeah, it's almost like a lime green yellow. The next color combo I wanted to show you guys is the red and the blue. This one gives you like a purplish pink, but it's nothing like the 405 nanometer purple. It's much closer to the pink side, and to some people they would probably even just classify this as straight up pink. This is pretty cool too. This is probably what I'd imagine like a 420 or a 430 nanometer laser to look like. Um, if I ever was to see one, and again, this one is very uniform too. You can't really pick out one color in the beam because they blend together well. And the last combo I wanted to show you guys is actually my favorite. This is the blue and the green. And it almost makes this, uh, this like, I don't know, cayenne or turquoise color. Um, this is always a color I have trouble describing, but it's a little more on the green side than it is on the blue. And it's what I would imagine a 495 or a 500 nanometer to look like. 
very very bright and uniform and to me this one blends the best out of any of the color combinations you can't pick out any green or blue it's just one color it, it doesn't look like there's two beams producing this light this looks like one solid color um, coming out of the laser and this laser is capable of creating seven different colored beams you got those three combos I just showed you um, then you got white which is all three of the colors on at once and then you have the three individual colors just red just blue or just green so there's seven different potential combinations you can set up here for different colors so yeah, that pretty much wraps up this testing of the different colors and color combinations on this RGB module. If you guys found this interesting or useful in any way at all, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for lots of awesome laser videos just like this one. And as always guys, thank you for watching from XM360.